This is the uh, installation of the Q3000 uh, chassis with a 192 strand MPO fiber trunk cable. Uh, the first step will be installation of the chassis itself. The next step is to preload the blades into the chassis. So to your chassis there will be four blades. Once the cable is routed into the cabinet, go ahead and install the swivel bracket onto the back of the chassis. You'll want to leave enough play in the screw so that the bracket can still be moved. We'll tighten it down later. The next step of the installation is uh, the placement of the grommet kit around the trunk cable. Uh, the grommet kit, uh, there's a ring adapter that will need to be removed for installation and also the bottom half of the grommet itself. We'll go ahead and take the end of the cable, place the reducer around it, the end of the grommet. And then the front half of the grommet, just line up the screw holes. Go ahead and place this. Pinch it together. And you're ready to attach it to the bracket. Even though this cable is installed from the top of the cabinet, we have a drip loop. So the cable will be fastened to the swivel bracket. On the lower side, you've got the grommet kit installed. What you want to do is get this screw started first, then get this screw started, and then screw both down to get the grommet kit firmly in place, and then we will screw down the bracket so that the bracket stays in its spot. bracket should now be secured. Included in the chassis installation kit is a white twist tie uh, bracket with an adhesive back. You'll want to remove the adhesive back and install this white twist tie right here about a half of a centimeter above the bottom right in the center of this plane on the chassis. And press it down real well. On this fiber cable, there are two different lengths of fiber tails. You'll want to separate them out into two distinct and clear bundles. There's a longer length and a shorter length. The longer length will go into the white twist holder. And you'll go ahead and lock that in place. Then you will take either the included black Millie tie or the small black tie wrap, either which may come in the kit. And you'll want to place it at this location. As you do this, you want to Tighten up the Millie tie or the tie wrap to the point where it is just snug enough to be rotated freely around the cable tails and then you'll clip off the end. On the cable subunits, each one of the tails is labeled with a small white label. The individual numbers will be important for the next step in the installation. The next step in the installation process is to separate out tails 15 and 16. They'll go on the bottom blade. Clean the surface of each MPO. And then also clean the individual ports.
Tail 15 will go to the inside toward the center of the chassis. We're forming a nice loop. And tail 16 will go in the other MPO on the other side. The blades are keyed down. If the MPO key is up, you can just twist the MPO 180 degrees and insert it. You'll repeat the cleaning and installation process for the next set of tails, numbers 11 and 12. Then tails seven and eight. The last set on this side, tails three and four. All the tails should form a counterclockwise loop from the center of the chassis. The next step is to take the shorter pair of tails on the other side of the chassis. You create a clockwise loop and you're going to place a small milli tie or small black tie wrap just to the right of the MPO connectors to secure the bundle. This tie will also be just snug enough to rotate freely around the tails and then clip it off. Next, separate out subunits 13 and 14. These will loop around. This set of tails actually pass through the bundle the top of the bundle being the loop you just created, and the bottom of the bundle being the bundle that feeds the other side of the chassis. These are the only two tails that pass through the bundle. Next, separate out subunits 9 and 10. These will pass over the top of the bundle in the same direction as the previous set of tails. Make sure you're repeating the cleaning procedure as you install each one of these. Then you'll separate out tails five and six. These go on the next blade. And finally, you will install the last two subunits, one and two. This angle illustrates really well how the cable's routed. You'll note that on the left side of the chassis, the loop goes in a counterclockwise motion. On the right side of the chassis, the loop goes in a clockwise motion. This is the most important uh, feature of this. It's what allows the tails to slide freely with the drawer and the drawer motion. Uh, the next step will be installing the back cover. Installing the cover is a two-person job. The person in the front is going to hold the tails, make sure that they're not in the way of the cover, push them toward the center, and then the other person can install the cover, slipping the tails inside, lining the cover up.
Once in place, you just screw the cover down.